Hello friend, this is Sonam. Today in this video we will discuss about how to create a PDA from the Microsoft form. This uh, tutorial will cover how to create a Microsoft form and as well as how to convert this Microsoft form to a PDA format using Power Automation. So uh, first we will see how the our entire flow will look like. First uh, as per the uh, so when we will uh, finish our flow it will look like this. First it will when a new form is submitted it will get that response details and then it will create a HTML table. Then once the form then it will go to that create file section in this here we, we it will convert this file to the um, uh, create it will create a file in the secondary storage uh, that is one drive so um, and the in after that it will convert this file to the target type that is pdf format then it will get that file content and if you want to send it to the another portion to the another user then it will so next uh, and the last step we will send it that once the file content is get it will send send it to a email send it to the person via email so let's see how to work with this workflow step by step guide so i have just um, uh, log in my office of microsoft office tenant address in office.com so in the office.com go to that app launcher here we will get the all the applications uh, that dynamic 365 uh, that embedded with the microsoft so from here we will open uh, we can find the microsoft uh, we can find the application that forms so we here we can uh, create our microsoft forms then also we will open the my sharepoint so click on that and open a new tab so it will open a new tab in this sharepoint we have opened uh, we have created a file storage a document library inside that document library i have created a uh, folders like files so here the pdf files will be sub uh, stored then also uh, for flow creation i have opened that uh, power automate application here and to for email checking i have create open that uh, outlook application so let's go to that uh, first we will uh, create a microsoft form so please open that and it will open that microsoft form application home and click on the new form so here we will give a form name and and also description as well as uh, here uh, clear when we will click on add new the plus icon add new it will see what type of questions or what type of uh, questions you want to add here so first we uh, i will give a form name so form name uh, this so employee survey if you want to the you can give any 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 can you can give if you want the, then you can any name as per your requirement so text so your text will be the full name and let's make it required field then uh, we will create another um, and it will show the recommended also recommended question also next we will insert uh, another questions like department so here it will show the uh, all the details also and then engineering research marketing training so next we will add another question uh, it should be a joint date we will ask to employee to uh, the jo insert the their joint date so this one next another questions so here i i have just added two question two more questions like contacts and the employee number let's give it uh, a modify this name employee details so in my form i have created a, a form like uh, employee details and where it will in, included five questions like, like this employee number contact gender department and the full name so let's uh, save this uh, form and we can see it will saved automatically here so let's uh, copy the link so that we can uh, send it to another person by or we can insert the our response by the link inserted the link in browser so here it will show the copy and then i will paste it here so let's go to the now we are done here so let's go to the microsoft flow and here we will create our flow as per our requirement so go to create and go to automated cloud flow click click here and give the flow name and let's uh, and then then we will select a trigger so let's convert microsoft form 
forms to PDF. Suppose we have given our we we gave a flow name that uh, convert forms to our PDF. Then here we will select or a trigger here. We will select uh, this one the Microsoft form under the Microsoft forms connector. There is a trigger when a new form a new response is submitted. And let's uh, select this trigger and click on create to trigger the flow. We will select uh, here it will ask the form ID. So and also it will notify us that PK form. So click the option uh, select that Chevrolet and then select uh, it will show our uh, form as our form name is employee details. So select this one employee details. Once the uh, response is submitted the flow will trigger in next step we will insert another we will add another action that is get uh, the response details. So select this one, this action get response details and we will insert the form ID that employee details, the form name, uh, get response details and then here we will give our form ID and the response ID and the response ID is from the dynamic content, select click on that. Next we will add another, in new step we will add another action that is uh, select action and that will select the specified properties from all the elements of the form uh, form array into a new array so uh, click on the new step and then sort uh, select so select this action and in this here we will add the expression so uh, in the expression we will insert the creator action within the creator action we will insert the dynamic content that is response id so click on the create okay so now it will inserted in the select in the form uh, then in map we will insert all the fields details here like like full name and department join date contact and the employee number so then department so here we will in enter value we will insert the full name and similarly here we will insert the department and here we will insert the dynamic content and then uh, the join date and the contact and employee number contact now it's done here we, we have inserted all the details from the microsoft form and next using all the details we will create a html table so click a new step and search as create html table so select this action create html table so here we will insert the uh, output from the select action once it will create a html table now we will insert a border to the html table so for this here we will insert uh, the click on the new step and then within a compose action we will insert all, all the expression so it will create a border uh, to the html table so within that uh, compose in inputs i will insert an expression so as per the expression we will insert uh, the replace so i have insert the replace uh, in the within the replace function uh, i have insert the body and here we have given our flow name that uh, sorry uh, the action name create html table and the table here i have just uh, mentioned the table border as two so it will be coming as the thickness as the two then click on ok so now it has a uh, now it is converted to the html table and having the border uh, next we will create this file uh, into the our secondary storage so that is a uh, one drive location so uh, here uh, select that action then uh, here we will give the root folder as the folder path and the uh, file name so here we will give the file name uh, as our full name and uh, we will merge it with the employee number dot and uh, dot html next the file content uh, the other file content as the select we will select the outputs from the compose action once the file is created in the onedrive location now it will convert it to the um, pdf format so for this here we will insert another uh, action that is convert pdf convert file action sorry convert file so here we will give the file from the create file action it will select as uh, the id as the unique identifier so select file as the id and the target type is pdf so once it is uh, converted to pdf then it will convert stored it stored it in the sharepoint document library that is uh, in this folder so for this uh, here we will insert another action that is uh, so create file uh, give the site address and the folder path 
so the folder path is the within that file storage yeah this one the files and the file name select the file name here we will select the file name from the convert file and the file contain it is the same so from the under the convert file just select the file contain now the file will be created in the document library as a pdf format send this file to the another user so here we will insert another action that is uh, get so here we will insert the get, get file content action this one the under the sharepoint connector then insert the mandatory field so site address and the file identifier is uh, id and now we will send it to the user specified user so that he will get the notification that yes the form is submitted uh, for this uh, here we will insert another action that is send email yeah this one uh, so here we will specify a person name or uh, email id so for example i am inserting my email id so here we will insert the subject and the body new response is submitted to send the e pdf here we will expand it and uh, here it is showing the attachment name the, so the attachment name should be the name from the sharepoint under the sharepoint we will select and the attachment content uh, it is the get file content uh, now our flow is totally almost ready uh, let's save it and test it how it is work so before that first we will save it and then we will test yeah now it is indicating us to say uh, test it so click on test and manually test it manually and click on test so to see submit a new response to the selected form so it is notifying us to sell, uh, submit a new response for this we will for this we will copy that link that we have created the microsoft form so uh, and open it a new browser yeah now the form is open and here we will insert the uh, form details suppose we will give the uh, uh, full name the give the uh, department and insert the join date and click here to submit once the um, uh, form is submitted let's uh, see how our uh, flow is going yeah it's uh, once the form is submitted it get the or all the response details then it will select uh, by the select uh, action it will get all the details uh, i and create it stored in a new array and then it will uh, create a html table and compose it uh, then it will create the file in the onedrive location uh, and then it will convert it onedrive location in the convert it into the pdf format then it will create it in our document library so let's see how it and it will get that file content and then it will send that email so it's already i think came uh, let's see first uh, we will check in uh, our document library so how it's uh, converted yeah it's came like this so here we will check it will coming as like this only and here also it will coming as the, uh, with the border so let's see how the email is coming uh yeah now a new response is submitted so click on this link and we can see the um, uh, it's automatically changed the file name also pdf file name that is uh, the username who uh, uh, the employee name and also as well as the employee i number and it's the dot per pdf format so well this is how we can convert a microsoft form to a pdf format and also we have seen that how to send this pdf automatically to the user for more videos about uh, the sharepoint power apps power automate power bi python please subscribe to our channel that is ts info technologies and thank you thank you so much for your time have a good day